Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Right on my screen, you can see a circular progress tracker. So, it is tracking the percentage of the first student, that is Stacy. Now, let's try to change the marks of Stacy from engineering subject from 55 to 75 and uh, engineering subject 4 from 68 to 84. Then you can see the percentage is getting changed and also the same is getting implemented on the progress tracker. Interesting, right? Would you like to create a similar circular progress tracker? Yes, that can be done. That's exactly what we're discussing today. So let's get started with our one point agenda that is circular progress tracker in Excel. Now let's get back to the practical mode. So let us enter into a duplicate sheet which has all the marks of the students. So now we are on the duplicate sheet where we have all the students names and the marks list and also the percentage. Now let us create a new column which states the actual percentage minus the overall percentage. So the overall percentage is 100 and the actual percentage is uh, 75, 76 and so on. Let's try to calculate this or let's try to convert it into the percentage format. Now, let's try to change some values. Now let's try to change this. Yeah, we were supposed to add the percentage symbol which we forgot. Now it's implemented there. Now let's drag it again. So there you go. We have the remaining percentage as well. So we have the actual percentage and the remaining percentage. So we need both of them to apply the donut chart. So we have selected both the percentages and now we'll enter into insert menu. Then you can see a pie chart icon over here. Click that and you have a donut chart over here. Select that and you have the donut chart. So now let's remove the symbols which we don't need. So we have removed the uh, details of one and two there. And uh, let's change this to circular progress tracker. So we have removed the legends and we have renamed the chart name as circular progress tracker. And now let's try to insert the percentage icon or the text chart. So you have the text chart or text box option over here. Select that, drag and drop it here. Yeah, we have the text box here. Select that, go to the formula bar, select equals to, and now select the address cell. There you go, you have it. Now we have the percentage in the text box. Now you can make your edits. I'll bring it to center, alignment to center, text color to blue as we have it on the outer circle and you can change the font you can make it bold increase the font size there you go. so we have the progress tracker okay let's try to group the text box with the chart so that we can move them all together So now you can make some changes and see if that's working or not. So let's make the change to the engineering subject one from 32 to 68 and press enter. There you go. The changes have been applied. The percentage got changed to 78 from 72 and the same has been implemented here. And even the progress chart is also working on the same way. So that's how you create the circular progress charts in Excel. So with that, we have come to an end of this session on Circulus Progress Chart in Excel. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.